Hey there creepy peeps and welcome to another unboxing video. I have with me <laughs> the sorry <laughs> the very large <laughs> October nocturnal readers box. Now this is a little bit bigger <laughs> than the previous boxes that I have gotten anyway. Um, and this is the one year anniversary. I think it's only one year they've been around. But it's whether it's one year or whatever, it's their anniversary box, um, which is also the October box. So that's the only. Oh, Jesus. Where's that? There we go. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm talking while I'm unwrapping. Um, so normally, Nocturnal Readers box have a theme, like a set theme. Um, this one is like themeless, other than the fact that it's the anniversary box. So like that's kind of a theme. Um, and if I remember correctly from the last one, they said there would be like new variants on some of their favorite items that they've given away in previous boxes. So okay, thank you, Leatherface Pen. All right, so let's open up this bad boy. Seriously, I'm so damn excited. Um, so for those of you. I don't know, Nocturnal Readers Box is a monthly subscription box, particularly for book lovers such as myself. Um, so you get two boxes, not two boxes, you get two books each month, a wearable, an art print, and a whole bunch of other fun stuff like pins and bookmarks and other cool things. Um, and you always get two books each month, a new release and a previous release, which is awesome. Um, yeah, um, and I let you guys know if you watched my other unboxing that was up today, let me know which one, which boxes. <laughs> let me try that again. Let me know which boxes of mine that I unbox um, that you like the best, because I think I'm gonna kind of do like a purge of the subscription boxes. Um, Nocturnal Readers box is definitely up there with one of the ones I really wanna keep same with Parcel of Terror, but yeah. Anyways, enough talking, let's get into this. I'm so excited to see what's in here. It's beautiful. There are three books in here. Okay, I always do the books last though, so we'll get to that. Um, first thing is a bag, a tote bag. Man, they are killing it with the tote bags. I have a Stephen King themed tote which i think is also a t-shirt which i put in my t-shirt size so i don't know maybe if i was just a little bit behind on that that's okay um but it's for the long walk so you can see i really love the style of this it says on here um styled after an old school marathon shirt which is really cool let's see what it says at the bottom i can't see oh it says community event hosted by the state department and richard and claudia inez bachman very cool. I, oh, that's my phone somewhere. Really like that toe. I love the style of it. So cute. Um, so that's definitely the wearable. All right, next thing we have looks like a beer glass, which they are so fond of giving in this, and I'm okay with that. Excuse me while I am. Here. With some sticky bugaboo wrap that definitely got all over the cup, so excuse that it doesn't look clean. I will wash it before I use it. Um, but this says, <gasps> no, oh my god, that's so cool. Okay, so this is an American Gods themed cup, or bar glass, I should say. Hold on, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see me if I put my hand here. <clears throat> Very cool, and it says, Ibis and Jackal's Funeral Parlor established 1863. Very, very cool. So if you've read the book or seen the TV series, you know exactly what this is. Um, well, actually, I don't know if you've seen the TV series, if it's in there. I only watched like the first episode and then I got caught up with <laughs> other stuff, which I gotta get back to watching that. Um, love this. Again, sorry for the dirtiness of it, but that bubble wrap was like, tape on the inside anyways all right we have a 
very awesome enamel pin, which is inspired by Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven. You can see it right down there. It's a stack of books, a raven, obviously, skull on top. Very cool. Love, love, love this pin. That is so beautiful. And I like that it's black and white too, it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically how I imagine all Edgar Allan Poe stories when I'm reading them. You know how you kind of like plays like out as a movie in your head? I always see them in black and white because they're just so like classic. I don't know. So I love that the pin is in black and white. Shut the front door. Okay. All right. So we have a fucking <coughs> sick patch right here, which is inspired by the Ring series. It says on the card, a Ring series patch by... Koji Suzuki featuring none other than the always creepy Sadako Yamamura. That is amazing. Um, if I can find a website for Koji Suzuki, I will link that in the description box. What is it? Oh, okay. So this is the same brand. If you remember, I don't know if it was the last box or the one before I got a super cool, it was like, Sandman <laughs> dream oil like that you put on your pulse points and it's supposed to calm you um so it's natura amantis i hope i'm saying that right um i linked their shop last time we got something from them and i will link it in the description box again and what is this is it a candle i should open it it's a candle yes it says one of three candles with something this way comes Something Wicked This Way Comes, I'm sorry, inspired candles. So that is a Ray Bradbury book. That is definitely on my to read list. And this smells amazing. It says the scent is raspberry, sugar, vanilla. I'm definitely getting like the raspberry more than anything and it smells so good. Um, well, I'm definitely gonna burn the shit out of that today. <laughs> um, okay, anyways, next thing is a sticker which I, is going right into a magnet because I cannot live without this. This is amazing, I love this. It says nocturnal readers never go to bed alone. <laughs> love it, love it. Um, okay, it just says a sticker to show off your nocturnal reader's status so there's no particular artist, but it's amazing. Absolutely love that. <laughs> All right. Oh my, oh, that's so cool. Okay, so we have a absolutely beautiful art print here. It looks like a graveyard, a skeleton, and I'll put bring it up closer, but it says Nocturnal Reader's Box on this first headstone here, which is really cool. So you know that this was made like specifically for Nocturnal Reader's Box. That is amazing. Um, let me get the info here. Um, it says, an amazing art print inspired by part of our logo created once again by Ivan Belikoff. You can view more of his work at ivanbelikoff.com or at Instagram at further underscore up. Um, so I will link both of those places in the description box for you should you want to check out more of his work, which this is amazing. <laughs> uh, I love that. And again, I love that it's you know, exclusive to Nocturnal Reader's Box and it has it even in the, the picture, that's awesome. Um, okay, and before we get to the books, really quick, of course, there's a bookmark included. It wouldn't be a Reader's Box without a bookmark. And it says, I heart horror. Love that. So cute. I like how cartoonish it is. That is absolutely adorable. Okay, so now on to the books. Um, so it looks like we have two new releases and one previous release. Oh, oh way. Okay. Um, so this is actually kind of funny. Um, so the previous release is the book called Cold Moon Over Babylon by Michael McDowell, which I will link the video right up here because I reviewed the movie based off of this book just called Cold Moon last month, like the end of last month, I think. Um, I'm not sure if, I think the movie is out already. I got a screener for it and I can't remember 
if I managed to <laughs> watch it before it came out or after it came out, but um, I will certainly link the review up there for you to um, watch if you want and I'll leave info about Cold Moon in the description box for you if you want to know more about it. Um, but that's very cool. Um, so now I actually have the book <laughs> that the movie was based off of. So and the books are always better. So I'm definitely going to give this a read. <laughs> Ooh, I really like the next one. I know I'm going to love the next one. Um, okay, so the next one is one of the new releases and it is the Valancourt Book of Horror Stories. Ooh, volume two, that means there's a volume one. Um, <laughs> I really, really love the cover art on this. It's so creepy and I love it. Um, so obviously this is an anthology. Wow. And I love anthologies and the only thing better than an anthology is a horror anthology, in my opinion. Um, so, so cool. I'm about this. I'm about this already. I know this is the favorite, but I know this is my favorite item already. <laughs> it's a horror anthology. Um, okay, so finally, the last item and the last new release book is a new book by, oh, David Wong, which we received one of his books already in a previous, um, Nocturnal Reader's Box, but this is What the Hell Did I Just Read? <laughs> Which is really cool. Um, I went and bought John Dies at the End and we received This Book is Full of Spiders in a previous box. Um, I know those two are a series, so I don't know if this is part of it. <sighs> is it. Is it even worth it trying to read the... <laughs> The summary. I'm about it. It says it's a novel of cosmic horror. That sounds like it's for me, man. Um, so <laughs> that is so awesome. I can't wait to read this. Um, after, oh, it says another John dies at the end shit storm. Okay. So I guess this, I guess I have to wait to read this until I finish this book is full of spiders. <laughs> um, but once I finish that, I'm getting on with this. Um, so that was a pretty amazing Nocturnal Readers box. I'm really glad I did this one last because I was having a pretty shitty day and I, did, I wasn't gonna wait to film the unboxings until tomorrow in case I got another one in the mail, but I saw the Nocturnal Readers box and I'm like, I know it's gonna put me in a good mood. Let me just open it. And damn if it didn't put me in a fine ass mood. Like I'm really happy with this box. I don't even know if I could tell you what my favorite item is. And I, if you haven't seen me unbox one of these before, I never pick the books as my favorite item because I love all books. Those are obviously my favorite items, but I don't know what my favorite item is. I really don't. The candle smells awesome. That patch is so creepy. I love the pin. I love the bar glass. <laughs> I love the books. I just love everything. The whole box is my favorite thing. Um, so that was awesome. So that was the, and I can double check it here, the first uh, year anniversary box for Nocturnal Reader's Box. So um, this along with Parcel of Terror are like the only boxes that I like absolutely recommend. Um, this definitely isn't for everybody. If you're a book lover, you need to get this box. It's amazing. So it says, November is going to be big, but we say that every month. Just know that we are going deep this month. That's what she said. And you may see a Cenobite, some Richard Matheson, some Shirley Jackson, oh, and more. Okay, I'm excited. They said Shirley Jackson. Okay, anyways, um, my battery's about to run out, so I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here and become a creepy peer today. I post videos Monday through Friday and every single day this month for October. There will be an additional movie review. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, stay strange. Bye.